Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to place the Pentium processor in one of these uh, gateway model SX2851s. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. So uh, yeah, it's just regular computer came with Windows 7 and stuff um yeah it has Windows Vista on it the other Windows installation had a virus on it TDSS uh virus so you can see that this thing is connected to my cinema display right now um pretty compact system so yeah let's just get straight into it just turn it off let it shut down cool feature about this thing, you can turn off light on this thing, it's just hard to shut it down. <clears throat> there we go. So, just unplug all the cables. And last of all, the cable. There we go. So let's just get straight into it. And by opening up the side. So that's my Mac Pro. You want to unscrew the two screws right here. You can't see it on camera, but. Uh, you can see this one right here, but yeah. And you don't really need screw organization for this because screws are pretty big. Um, but yeah, so now that that's done, you can just pull on this cov uh, handle right here and it'll pop right off. So. Next. Oh, that's not a great sound. Uh, but this is where the CPU is. And you want to undo the four screws that you see on the sides of the fan. And unscrewing those screws will remove the cooler and fan assembly. So you just want to unscrew that. you're using a small screwdriver, it might be harder to get these undone because, you know, they're tight anyways. When I first got this system, uh, there, were, there was no video from it because the integrated video was broken for some reason. So I have to use this graphics card up here without a PCI cover because the PCI cover was too big. This graphics card was taken from a Dell Optiplex, I believe. So, once the screws are undone, it'll just pop right out. You might have to wiggle it a little bit to, you know, because thermal paste. Disconnect the fan cable, which is right there. And now you can put your heat sink and cool and fan assembly aside. And this is where the Pentium processor is, or CPU, whatever you want to call it. You want to press down on this. You just want to press down on this metal thing and let it pop out. There we go. Now you can lift up this right here. And now your CPU can come out. 
And once you get your new CPU, you can just plop it back in, making sure that these peg thingies on the side are aligned, and then you, it, it'll just fit right in. If it doesn't fit, that means you put it in the wrong way, and you gotta, you know, put it in the right way. You can see the pegs on the side of the socket. So now that that's done, you can just put it back. You don't need to undo the screw. You can just put it back and put the lever, whatever, lever, yes, Put you can put the lever down, and then you're good to go. So, <clears throat> once that's done, you can put your fan back in, reconnecting the fan, make sure you plug it in the, the right way. So, there's this little bar thingy right here, and these thingies right here, you want to line that up and make sure it's in all the way. There we go. Now we can focus on the heatsink fan assembly. Make sure you align the screw holes. And then you can screw down. There we go. And there we go. E as easy as that. So that's how you uh, replace your CPU in one of these uh, gateway PCs of desktops. I forgot what it was called because I am very dumb. But anyways, now you can put your cover back on. Make sure you put it in the right, put it on the right way. <clears throat> and then it'll just slide back in. Then you can put the screw in the two screws. Sometimes it won't go in. You just gotta hold it. So now, now that that's done, PC is ready to go. Um, and yeah, so that's how you replace the CPU in the Gateway Model SX2851 desktop. Uh, so that's how you. Uh, that's it for this video, and. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys, uh, I hope you guys, uh, like and subscribe. You know, my brain is really weird today. Maybe I didn't get enough sleep. But, start over. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please like and subscribe, and check out my Twitter at ufelix5, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.